any square number can be taken out of a square root. For example, 32 equals 16 times 2, and 16 is a perfect square. Thus, we can take it out of the square root by taking its square root. If we take the square root of 16, we get 4, and so what remains is 4 times the square root of 2. Let's try it with the square root of 27. 27 is the same as 9 times 3. The square root of 9 is 3, so we can take that out of the square root, and what remains is 3 root 3. It's not always obvious if a square number is a factor of the number in our square root. For example, sometimes we might have to write out a factor tree. Since 180 ends in an even number, 0, we know that it's even, and so we can take a 2 out of it, and 180 is 2 times 90. 90 we could factor as 9 times 10. 9 we could factor as 3 times 3, and 10 we could factor as as 5 times 2. Then it is evident that in the factorization of 180, we have 3 squared and we have 2 squared and a lonely factor of 5. Thus, 180, since we've seen the factorization, we know that it's the same as 2 squared, because we add these two factors of 2, multiplied by 3 squared, because we add these two factors of 3, multiplied by that factor of 5. Since 2 squared and 3 squared are perfect squares, we can take them out of the square root. The square root of 2 squared is just 2, and the square root of 3 squared is just 3, and then that leaves the square root of 5. 2 times 3 is 6, so our final answer is 6 root 5. 98 is also an even number, so we know we can take a 2 out of it. 98 equals 2 times 49, and I recognize 49 as 7 squared. Thus, we can take the 49 out of the square root. The square root of 49 is 7. So this just leaves 7 root 2. That's how to simplify square roots. You just need to take all of the perfect squares you can out from the root by taking their square roots. Here are three more examples for you to try simplifying yourself. I'll put the answers on screen now. And there they are. Notice 288 is even, that's how we knew to take out a factor of 2. 250 ends in 0, so we knew we could take out a factor of 10. And the digits of 243 add up to 9, which is a multiple of 3, which means that 243 is divisible by 3. So we knew we could take out a factor of 3, which then showed us that 81 factor hiding inside. 81 is a perfect square, and we're able to simplify no problem. Being able to factor and recognizing perfect squares is a key skill for doing this easily. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.